Hello everyone, this is Calvin Castine. We're at the Adirondack League ballpark here at the West Plattsburgh American Legion for what is probably a first time event, the best of my knowledge it is, an all-star game between the B division of the Gentlemen's Slow Pitch League and the B division of the Adirondack Slow Pitch League. And this will be followed by the A Division All-Star Game. And uh, this meeting between the two clubs, the two uh, leagues, is to benefit the Big Brother Big Sister program. And the Big Brother Big Sister director, Marguerite Adams, is out there with uh, League President uh, Dudley Dubray, Keith Dubray from the Adirondack League. And, uh, Adirondack Slopitz League B Division All-Stars. They'll be the home team. Uh, the All-Star Games are the kickoff of a new Big Brothers, Big Sisters fundraiser. Uh, the Hot for Kids. And I'd like to introduce Marguerite Adams, Executive Director of Big Brothers, Big Sisters of the North Country, and she'll tell you about it. I'm really excited to be here this evening, especially excited to kick off this new fundraiser, which we feel will not only uh, benefit the children we serve now, but the many, many more children that are coming in our door right now. Uh, probably several of you have participated in a fundraiser that we hold each spring called Bowl for Kids' Sake. And if you have, I hope that you've had a good time and know that whatever we do, we try to have... When we're doing a fundraiser, we want people to come out and have a good time. And at that, for kids' sake, is no different. Uh, the reason that we're needing a new fundraiser is that, like for most not-for-profits, things are really tough right now for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Our funding sources are down, and the number of children coming in our door is up. And that's why I'm here to, to talk to you tonight about Big Brothers Big Sisters and also our new fundraiser. We're going to have a table set up right behind the dugout here with the information that you'll need. I'm not here to collect money. I'm not here to ask you to open up your wallet. All I'm here is for you to come over and say, what is at that statistic and what is the work that Big Brothers Big Sisters do? Because I'd love to tell you about our kids tonight and I'd love to tell you about our new fundraiser. So thank you very much. I hope to hear from some of you throughout the, the summer and thank you for helping me kick out, off at that statistic. Marguerite Adams, Executive Director of Big Brother Big Sister Program. We hope you saw the event we did, uh, the Bowl-a-thon with, with Bob Venn. There'll be the subs first for the gentlemen's slow pitch league, and I'll just have you line up on third base line. Uh, subs first. Non-starters for gentlemen's league. Harold Dominic from the Dairy Queen Club. Bobby Curry from Moldrite Plastics. Bob Trombley, Tingles. Bob Trombley from Tingles. Matt Terry, Tingles. Matt Terry from Tingles. Jim Clowney, Bazanos. Jim Clowney from Bazanos. Dave Mendefic, Bazanos. Dave Mendefic from Bazanos. Trombley, and Brad Trombley from Bedard Mitchers. Now the starters. Whoops. I have another non-starter here. Dwayne McPherson from Dairy Queen. The late addition. Okay, the starting lineup for the gentlemen's slow pitch league. Playing shortstop, bat first from Dairy Queen, Paul Frederick. Shortstop, batting in the leadoff spot from Dairy Queen, Paul Frederick. Field from Bozano, Dana Davis. Dana Davis, left fielder from Bozano, batting second. Batting third, playing first base from Moldright, Tony Hill. From Moldright, first baseman Tony Hill. Clean up hitter and good hitter from Bedard and Mitches, John Butler. From Bedard Mitches, the cleanup man, extra hitter John Butler. Playing second base from Dairy Queen, Chuck Kimbler. Second baseman from Dairy Queen, Chuck Kimbler. Batting six, doing the catching from Sun Foods, Jim Kring. Jim Kring, the catcher from Sun Foods. Batting 
Donovan, playing left center from Bazano, Jim Manchester. Jim Manchester, left center fielder from Bazano's. Batting eight, playing right center from Bedard and Mitch's, Steve Ryan. Steve Ryan, right center fielder from Bedard Mitch's. Batting nine, playing third base from Tingle, Kurt Cashman. Kurt Cashman, third baseman from Tingle's. Batting ten, playing right field from Bazano's, Tom Bull. Tom Boulay from Bazano's, he's the right fielder. Batting 11, doing the pitching. From Sun Foods, Pat Roberts. Pat Roberts, pitcher, he's from Sun Foods. Those are the gentlemen from the Gentlemen's Slow Pitch League, B Division. <laughs> and now for the non stars for the Adirondack League. Bill Liberty from S&S Unlimited. Bill Liberty from S&S Unlimited. Jeff Ludwig, High Peaks Construction. Jeff Ludwig from High Peaks Construction. Paul Kano, Sears Trucking. Paul Kano, Sears Trucking. Leo Miller, Hackett Plumbing and Heating. Leo Miller from Hackett's Plumbing and Heating. Mark Taylor from Sears Trucking. Steve Sweeney, Eight Post. Steve Sweeney from Eight Post. Gary Burnett, High Peaks Construction. Gary Burnett from High Peaks. Bobby Matthews, Eight Post. Bobby Matthews from Eight Post. Mike Myers from Garrels. Jimmy Ahern, Ahern Sheet Metal. And Jimmy Ahern from Ahern's Sheet Metal. Okay, the starters for the Adirondack Slow Pitch League. Batting first, playing right field from Sears Trucking, Todd DeRocher. Todd DeRocher from Sears Trucking will lead off. Batting second, and he's playing, playing base, right S &S field. Craig Stone. Second baseman Craig Stoughton from SNS Unlimited will bat second. Batting third, shortstop from Ahern Sheet Metal, Tim Ahern. Tim Ahern, shortstop from Ahern Sheet Metal. Batting fourth, cleanup hitter, playing left center field from Ahern Sheet Metal, Darren Yutzer. Darren Yutzer, left center fielder. Batting fifth, playing third base from Ahern. SNS Unlimited, Todd Parrott. Third baseman Todd Parrott from SNS Unlimited. Field from Ahern Sheet Metal, Jeff Reisdorf. Jeff Reisdorf from Ahern Sheet Metal, he's a left fielder. Seven, the extra hitter from Hackett's Plumbing and Heating, Bill Dar. Bill Dar, the extra hitter from Hackett's. Batting eight, playing first base from SNS Unlimited, sure. Ed Liberty. Ed Liberty, first baseman from SNS Unlimited. Batting nine, doing the pitching from McGee's, Larry Barcombe. Larry Barcombe. Pitcher, he's from McGee's. Batting 10, doing the catching from McGee's, Bill Bashard. The catcher from McGee's, Bill Bashard. Batting 11, playing right center field from Garrels, Jerry Rock. And Jerry Rock from Garrels, he's the right center manager fielder. Manager of the B Division All-Stars from Sears Trucking, Brett Campbell. And the manager, Brett Campbell from Sears Trucking. Paul Frederick, shortstop from Dairy Queen. Keep him up, Timmy. They'll lead off. Larry Barkholm on the pitching rubber. Barkholm among the many players, along with his catcher Bill Bashard, who play in both leagues. A leadoff single to start the action here by Paul Frederick. That'll bring up Dana Davis, the left fielder. Davis from Bazzano's Pizza. And the pitch. Ball one. 
Strike. That's a strike. Two. One and two. On deck, Tony Hill, hard hitting first baseman. Set to left center, it'll be caught in the air. It'll be no advance. One down. Tony Hill, he's from Mold Right Plastics. First ball hitting, pops it up. In between her. Two down. Craig Stoughton with the grab, and it brings up the extra player, cleanup man from Bedard Mitch's, John Butler. Best of my knowledge, this is the first year that the Gentlemen's League has gone with an A and B division. They've had an American and National League where the leagues were balanced. Now they've gone to the A and B. Go to first in time. Nice play there by uh, second baseman Stoughton. We'll go back to that A-B division uh, when we pick up action in the bottom of the first with no score. The right fielder Todd DeRocher from Sears Trucking. We'll step in to face Pat Roberts. Ball one. Bottom of the first, no score. Adirondack League at bat, first annual all-star game between the A and B divisions. There'll be two games. This is the first of two. Ball four, DeRosa draws the walk. Brings up second baseman Craig Stoughton. And tight, ball one. The way the leagues are divided up. Everybody plays everybody one time in each of the two leagues here at Adirondack and Gentlemen's League. Everybody will be safe. This is Tim Ahern, the shortstop. So everyone in the Adirondack League plays each other one time, and at the end of that, the top half of the teams go to the A division, and the top, the bottom half of the teams go to the B division. And this gentlemen's league started that this year as an experiment, and if it works, they'll uh, keep it up. Base hit, run is going to score. DeRocher is going to score. Stoughton's going to be in at third. So it's a one nothing ball game. Brings up cleanup man Darren Utzler. <laughs> to left center, that's grabbed, one down. That'll be a sacrifice fly, Stoughton will score easily. It's a two nothing ball game. And I'll bring up Todd Parrott, third baseman from SNS Unlimited. Hit the ball! The two leagues are, are finally uh, admitting each other's existence. Uh, oh, that's uh, misplayed, the high sky today. And the left fielder, Diana Davis, just ran right by it. Brings up Jeff Reisdorf. He's the left fielder. He's from Aherns. The league's uh, started last fall for the Challenge Series. Champion from each uh, league in the A Division, from the Adirondack League, and the overall champion in the Gentlemen's League played each other. In the challenge series, that's foul. In that challenge series, the uh, Plattsburgh Air Force Base defeated the Thorne Baker and Sons team. Good job, good job. Good job. Come on, Billy. Let's not get many for three. Extra hitter Bill Dar from Hackett's at the plate now. This might score a run. 
it's a three nothing ball game. First baseman Ed Liberty, first ball hitting, pounds it to Roberts. He goes to first. Well, the third out, it's three nothing. We're going to the top of the second. Chuck Kimbler at the plate. Leading off the second, hits it back to Barcombe. Over the first, we have one down. Kimbler's from the Dairy Queen team. Let's bring up the catcher, Jim Kring. He's from Sun Foods. Pitch from Barcombe is inside, ball one. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. To the best of my knowledge, not only will there be a challenge series between the A divisions, but uh, I believe there's also going to be a challenge series between the B divisions of both leagues this year. As we said, the air base from the Gentlemen's Slow Pitch League won last year's first annual challenge series, including Norm Baker's. Two down. Nice play by Kim Ahern at short. And it brings up Jim Manchester from Bazzano's. Bazzano's, I would guess, is probably a Peru team with Mendafic and Manchester in their lineup. For the first, safe. I'm going to bring up Steve Ryan. Too much arc on that last one. Get to left field. Looking for the third out. Nothing across for the gentleman in the second. It's 3 0 after an inning and a half. Adirondack League leading. Larry Barcombe at the plate. He's from McGee's. Smiling Charlie McGee's. His teammate Bill Bayshard on deck. Corny, bottom of the second, bottom half of the second with the Hadirondack League leading three to nothing. Nine inning game, I believe. I'll play nine to try to get everybody in and give everybody some playing time. A lot of, a lot of guys to get in the ball game. And a payoff pitch. Swung on, base hit to left field for Barcom. Brings up Bill Bayshard, who should be familiar with the, the opponents that he's facing today. He plays for the Barcombs TV club in the Gentlemen's League. They're leading the pack as of this taping, uh, about 19 and 1 record at the present time. One out. Brings up Jerry Rock from Garrow's. He takes it just outside, ball one. Todd DeRocher, leadoff man on deck. That's out of play. That's a base hit to left. Bayshard going to third. He's going to be in. And on a throw to third, Rock ends up at second. Follow so the Adirondack League threatening again here. In the second, Todd DeRocher. Two ducks in the pond. Takes right one with one out. One one. Hit the second, throw to first in time, throw to the plate, Bayshard scores, and the ball gets away. He would have scored anyway. It's a 4 nothing ball game. Craig Stoughton wastes a little time, pounds it. Rock scores. Throw is... Thrown away, but Stoughton unable to advance. 
We now have a 5 nothing ball game with Tim Ahern at the plate. To the left center. Or the third out. And we're going to the third. Six. Make that 5 nothing after two. In the top of the third, Kurt Cashman, third baseman from Tingles, up for the first time in the ball game. Team down five nothing. There you go. Another strike from Barcom. Take two, two and two. Adam Hitching with two strikes. Cashman had to swing at that one, but it was a little short. Uh, he's going to take a chance, and he pops it up to uh, Ahern, and it brings up Tom Boulay, the right fielder. He's from Bazanos. High fly to left center. Two down. That's uh, pulled down by uh, Darren Yutzer. And brings up the pitcher, Pat Roberts, at the top of the order to follow. Roberts from Sun Foods. And the pitch. That's deep. Ball one. One one pitch is taken. Strike two. Two outs, nobody on. Top of the third. Line drive. Two third pulled down by the third baseman Todd Parrott. And it remains five nothing. We're going to the bottom half of the third inning. Darren Yupser leads off the bottom of the third with a single. Brings up Todd Parrott. He takes ball one. Five nothing. We're in the bottom half of the third inning. Nine inning ball game. That's strike. Was it yours? Was it yours? Uh, could be trouble. Nope, it's grabbed. Manchester fires it in. One down. Jeff Reisdor takes strike one. We're certainly looking forward to the second annual challenge series. Last year's was an exciting thing, but we've got this kind of put together at the last minute. And this year we've got the whole year to look forward to it. And when they go through the playoffs, they all know that uh, what they got something to look forward to beyond the regular league playoffs. Two down. And it brings up Billy Dar from Hackett's. So he's at the first offering, pops it up in the right field. It's going to be fair ball right on the line. Ball gets away. Utsu is going to score run number six. Give Dar a double. Add Liberty. Makes ball one. <laughs> Up the middle, that's going to score another run. Nice stop, but there'll be no play. Nice try by shortstop Frederick, but he wasn't able to make a play on it after stopping the ball. Larry Barcombe at the plate takes strike one. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Trouble. Drops in. And we'll have runners at the corners. With two outs, Bill Bashard steps in, takes a strike. Seven nothing. We're in the bottom of the third. Come on, Billy! Back in, I believe it was 1971, the Lake Champlain League played the Adirondack League in an All-Star game. That was the only time that those two leagues met in All-Star competition. The score back then was the Adirondack League seven and the Jenna. Lake Champlain League 2. Uh, that was a well-played ball game and uh, it was held for the benefit of the Muscular Dystrophy Association uh, with uh, Sherm Rabideau handling the 
the uh, efforts up here at the Adirondack League. It's seven to nothing in this ball game as we go to the top of the fourth. Adirondack leading the gentlemen's league. Ball one to Paul Frederick, the shortstop for the gentlemen's league in this seven nothing ball game. He takes ball two, leading off here in the top half of the fourth inning. Popped up. Ahern grabs. We have one down. Dana Davis at the plate now. And Barcom delivers. Strike. <laughs> Not enough art. Base hit down the third baseline. We'll try to stretch it into two. He's in standing up. The one out double by Davis brings up Tony Hill, first baseman. With cleanup man John Butler waiting on deck. Popped up. Two down. Stoughton with the routine play brings up John Butler. Butler. It's a high drive to right center. Rock grabs it for the third out, and we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Seven nothing. Adirondack leading. We're just inside of Jerry Rock. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball two. Top of the order, Todd DeRocher waiting on deck. It's out of play. Roberts waits for his defense. Line drive, Jerry. Line drive. Double shot. Yeah, and a pitch. <laughs> throw another one. Make him throw it. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Take it, Jerry. Take it. Yeah. Look at it. Manchester with a nice catch. We have one down. Todd DeRocher up for the third time. First pitch to him, is swung on, a base hit to center. He's going to try to stretch it, he's going to be out. No, he's in there, says Jim Barron. Kimbler thought he had him. Grocer stretches it into two, but heads up running by the right fielder. Yeah, brings up. Second baseman Craig Stoughton from SNS Unlimited. Strike. Now you ready, now you ready. Line shot, that's a base hit. And the Rocher is going to score easily. It's an 8 0 ball game. Shortstop Tim Ahern. Strike one. Line drive. Pulled down by um, Kurt Cashman. Going two now. We're going two now. For the second out. And cleanup man Darren Utzler from Ahern's. It's hit by Cashman into left field. Stoughton will stop at second. Third baseman Todd Parrott. It's a base hit to left. That'll score Stoughton. It's a nine to nothing ball game. And Jeff Reisdorf, the batter. Up the middle, hits second base. Kimbler makes a play on it, but nowhere to go with it. Looks like it may have been off the fingers of Roberts. Billy Dar, who doubled on the right field line his last time, flies to Manchester to end the inning. 
Nine nothing after four. We're going to the top of the fifth. Chuck Kimbler. Gets it to Ahern at short, a one hopper, throws the first in time. We have one down. Don't know if uh, Chuck's brother Doug is uh, hooked on with another minor league club yet. Uh, if not, he'll probably be available and playing in one of these leagues for the end of the season. He'd be a fine addition to anyone's club, I'm sure. Doug Kimbler, former part of the Detroit Tigers uh, organization. This is a uh, bat now is uh, Jim Kring. It's the short. And it's going to be an error by Ahern. With Jim Manchester stepping to the plate. Strike one. For the first, not in time. Chuck Kimmel's brother Doug uh, had little health problems, injuries problems earlier this year and wasn't able to get the shot he should have had early this summer and was released by Detroit. But he, last we heard, he was hoping to catch on with someone. Nice play by Todd Parrott at third. It's still 9 nothing. We're going to the bottom of the fifth, and we're going to have some changes in the lineups. This is uh, Bill Liberty. We have one out. Down the third baseline, Liberty's going to have a single. We have one out here in the bottom of the fifth. We were getting the changes for the Gentlemen's League, uh, the Adirondack League, and uh, Jeff uh, Ludwig stepped in and hit the first pitch for an out. On, this is uh, Mike Myers. He's from uh, Garros. Months of changes for both teams. We'll give you the gentlemen's changes, uh, hopefully uh, next time they step up to the plate. Nice stop at short, throw to second, not in time. Nice play. Steve Sweeney. Outside. That's playable in right center. Two down. Throw comes to third, should have gone to second. Out. Foot came off the bag. That's that is two outs. Okay, just that's three. That is three outs. The first batter up made an out, and that should be three. That is three, and we are going to the top of the sixth. We'll check that score, but I believe it is still nine to nothing after five full. Craig, in the double bag, Andy. Come on, Nelly. Top of the sixth. This is Jim Clowney, I believe. He's from Bazanos. Bill Liberty pitching for the Adirondack League. That's two, that's two. Left field, one down. This, I believe, is Bobby Curry. Popped up. Strike one. Come, Big Bell. Base hit down the first baseline. Picked up by Brent Campbell. The curry is on. A okay, DQ batter there. Not sure if this is Harold Dominic. We're going to have to wait till the 
we get the lineups where we can tell you who these people are from the gentlemen's league. The game continues as uh, the subs come in and we aren't able to stop taping long enough to get the lineup changes. One out, one on, top of the six, nine, nothing the score. Three and one to count. Nice fire, Billy, nice fire! And Mark Foul territory. Harold Dominic, we believe, at bat. Go get it, Billy, go get it, Billy. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Nice fire, Billy, nice fire, Billy. Line shot. Oh, the first, not in time. Good try, good try, baby! Two down. Sort of, guys. Leo Miller with a grab. This is Paul Frederick, shortstop from DQ. Inside. It remains 9 nothing after 5.5. We're going to the bottom of the six. Safe at first, we have two outs. Brent Campbell let off the top of this inning, or the top of this at bat, I should say, is the bottom of the sixth. With a single, he was followed by Paul Kano, grounded out, and Leo Miller just batted. This is uh, out number three. In a quick half inning because we were getting the lineups. That's. Uh, come on, come on, D, come on. Next time, Bobby. Next time, Bobby. That was uh, darned if I know. Bobby Matthews. That was Bobby Matthews making the third out. We're going to the seventh inning. Nine nothing the score. Dwayne McPherson will step in. And the man we called the Clowny was really. Uh, Dave Mendoffick. Safe. Miller with a long throw. And uh, uh, McPherson is on. Brings up Jim Clowney here and now. We're in the seventh inning. 10 to nothing is the score. We checked the score. It's 10 nothing. There's a strike. Gentlemen's League will hoping to score here. They don't want to be shut out. Pitch from Liberty is a slow comebacker. Liberty will go to first, get the shore out, two down. And of course, it's only uh, one out, not two. John Butler, that's it. Misplayed, and McPherson stays at third. First and third with one out. Butler's on at first. And Trombley, not sure if this is Brad or Bob. Miller goes second, and probably gets the run batted in, and has McPherson scoring for the first run of the ball game for the Gentlemen's League, 10 to one. Go, Leo! And this is Matt Terry from Tingles. Right. Good fire, good fire, Bill. Oh. Right. Okay, Billy. Good luck, Bill. 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 Good luck, Bill.
Hit him. <laughs> Three two. Full count. And the payoff pitch from Liberty is swung on. Miller came running in on it and uh, Miller might have had that if he backed up, he misjudged it. Jim Manchester, the batter. And pitch from Liberty is on its way. Takes it just outside, a little deep, ball one. Oh, we'll put an end to the top of the seventh. We're going to the bottom half of the inning, 10-1 the score. One out as Terry Burnett steps in, swings at the first pitch, and flies out. I had some uh, fans uh, or near us that uh, talking a little rowdier than we wanted to, so we we're waiting until they got done, and uh, we looked over. Burnett uh, was swinging away. Bottom of the seventh. Two down. That was uh, Mark Taylor from Sears. This is Billy Dar. Two outs. Jeff Ludwig on deck. Bottom of the seventh. 10 1. First annual All Star game. B Division. Third out. We're going to the top of the eighth, 10 1. Adirondack League leading the gentlemen. Steve Ryan stepping in to start the bottom, top of the eighth. It's a one hopper through Miller. And Ryan will be on. I want to give Miller an error on that one. Yeah, get out of that one. They got that one on Phil. He's up Dave Mendopic. He uh, hits it back to Liberty. He goes to second. Fire to first. No throw. One out. Bobby Curry, 10 to 1. Gentlemen's League leading, I mean, trailing the Adirondack League. Two down. And Harold Dominic at bat now. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Big strike one. And a pitch. I can corn to center field. Let's grab for the third out. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. It's ten to one. Adirondack leading. <laughs> Jeff Ludwig, first ball hitting, uh, likes to do that, swings at the first pitch. The so last time he swung at the first pitch, we didn't get him on camera. That time we barely got him on camera. Now as we start the bottom of the eighth, and the batter now is the pitcher, Bill Liberty. Ten to one. Adirondack League at bat. This is the B division. Strike one. When you want, Bill. <laughs> yes. To third. Mandoffit. To first. Gets away. The throw was in the dirt. That'll uh, bring up Mike Myers. Nice sunny day. Yeah, nice evening at the moment here. It's uh, what time is it here? It's 7:30. Been a beautiful day. I spent the day. Uh, Helping the class of 1971 from Northeastern Clinton celebrate their 20th anniversary at uh, St. Mary's in Champlain and we came down here for a doubleheader. That was uh, Steve Sweeney. He is out on a fielder's choice. Two outs, runners at the corners and Brent Campbell who singled and uh, we were getting uh, the lineups while he was singling. And the uh, 
seventh inning, I believe it was. Base hit. Right down the line. And Campbell is going to go to third. The ball's going to be off the mark. And here comes Campbell all the way around. And the old guy gets four bases out of it. Brent Wheels Campbell, they call him. Paul Kano steps in now. And let's see, that's a couple more runs. Uh, I believe it's three runs in this inning to make it 13 to 1. Kano flies out. And we're going to the ninth inning with Adirondack League leading the Gentlemen's League. In the top of the ninth, the Gentlemen's League B team, B Division All Stars, need 12 to tie against their Adirondack League B Division counterparts. First of two All-Star games, Paul Frederick singles up the middle. To start the comeback here in the ninth. Now I'll bring up Dwayne McPherson. McPherson swings, hits it to third. Grant goes to second, throw to first, it gets away. One down, I'll bring up Jim Clowney. Miller threw his glove. Starting to be a long evening for Miller. He started off like a ball of fire out there. Did a nice job, first couple plays, and since he misjudged that line, soft line drive, he's uh, he's been uh, having a tough time. But he wouldn't make it to the All-Star game if he wasn't a good defensive man, and he's here. He's just having one of those games. John Butler, the extra player from Bedard Mitches at the plate. And a service manager from Agway Petroleum Products delivers the pitch. Hit the second, the first, the second, excuse me, the, the Miller covering that second for the second out. And Brad Trombley, chance to make the last out of the ball game, takes strike one. I believe it's Brad Trombley, either Brad or Bobby, one or the other. Miller goes to second for the out, and that'll be the ball game. So a 13 to 1 win for the Adirondack League, defeating the Gentlemen's League All Stars, and that's the way it was in North Country men's softball action. First annual B Division All Star game here at the Adirondack League Park in beautiful downtown West Plattsburgh. The A Division game will follow. <laughs>